over two thirds of Earth's surface is covered by water. Less than a third is taken up by the land. As Earth's population continues to grow, people are putting ever increasing pressure on the planet's water resources. Poor water quality means water pollution. How serious is the problem? According to the environmental campaign organization WWF, pollution from toxic chemicals threatens life on this planet. Every ocean and every continent from the tropics to the once pristine polar regions is contaminated. Water pollution is basically any kind of contamination that is present in, in water that, which is not actually there naturally and it actually affects uh, human life, livelihood or any kind of living things that are present around that is actually dependent upon water which is almost everything. Uh, the major sources of water pollution here in Pakistan are uh, the fertilizers that we use because uh, their lifetime is not uh, very good so it remains in the water and it just washes down and then the drainage system that we have we do not actually treat our uh, polluted water and we just dump it into our freshwater resources and that's where uh, that's from where our actual water sources are coming from so when we pollute these sources uh, that's when we get polluted water and all the other difficulties that we have due to that Lahore has no public storage capacity and water supply lasts for a few hours a day and remains highly variable. There is a crumbling distribution network with leaks and unaccounted for water, nor is there any effective metering of water use. Sewage is not treated and eventually it seeps into groundwater. Organic contaminants are, however, not regulated on a compound by compound basis. To avoid declining groundwater tables and groundwater quality in fresh groundwater areas, to ensure equal access to this increasingly important natural resource, the water portfolio should be diversified. Clean and plentiful water provides the foundation prosperous communities. We rely on clean water to survive. <laughs> Right now we are heading towards a water crisis. Changing climate patterns are threatening lakes and rivers and key sources that we tap for drinking water are being overdrawn or tainted with pollution. Natural Resources Defense Council experts are helping to secure safe and sufficient water for people and the environment by promoting water efficiency strategies to help decrease the amount of water wasted, protecting our water from pollution by defending the Clean Water Act and advocating for solutions like green infrastructure, helping prepare cities, counties and states for water-related challenges they will face as a result of climate change, and ensuring that waterways have enough water to support vibrant aquatic ecosystems. Industrial maize drains like Adiana drain or the river Ravi itself is now on a one ratio one water pollution rate. So eventually when there is pollution, there are, is uh, eutrophication, there is uh, uh, microbe uh, population is going to increase. Therefore the surroundings or the people living around are going to eventually be affected. Waterborne diseases such as, such as cholera, dengue, the mosquito vector itself and all those diseases which can cause gastro problem and uh, uh, water microbes which are eventually going to be bad to the population. Our young children who are feeding or are, drink, are uh, having water intake from these drains or from the area of these water areas are eventually going to have uh, uh, diseases which will lead to death or somehow. There should be also be harvesting of rainwater, a reduction in groundwater withdrawals, proper management of wastewater and appreciation of the constraints on freshwater. The increase in supply of water is fundamentally a question of reallocation. The treatments, huh, treatments have to be 
uh, on local as well as global and national level. So we need to make a tier system. So the local people have to identify the problems themselves in their surrounding. Along with that, they need to take measures themselves. So, the, so an individual has to first take a step. For example, do not let the water bodies uh, uncovered around you. For say, if it's a drain, ask the sewage people or the government to cover that up for you. If you have a water bucket in your house, cover that up with kerosene oil or whatsoever to avoid uh, mosquito vector developing over it. We can stop water pollution by education, laws and economics and by the implementation of the application of 3 R formulas that is reduce, reuse and recycle. As well as we can take individual action to help reduce water pollution, for example, by using environmentally friendly detergents, not pouring oil down drains, reducing pesticides and so on. We can take community action too by helping out on beach cleans or litter picks to keep our rivers and seas that little bit cleaner. And we can take action as countries and continents to pass laws that will make pollution harder and the world less polluted. Working together we can make pollution less of a problem and the world a better place. For the Ravi, for instance, it's, it, it's, it's, it's beyond individuals, but if an individual thinks that they can stop throwing waste okay. into Ravi, one ratio one will eventually come down. This is how we together can make Lahore and Pakistan prosperous, progress and prevail.